It is a lot of points, but you're going to see the guys that win those points tonight, I feel like, are going to be at least 90 points. I mean, there's some matchups in here, several matchups that could be 90 plus. We know that these classic competitions are held all season long, not just at these Unleash the Beast events, but at the Touring Pro Division, the velocity level, and we know that a couple of weeks ago in Belton, Texas, Touring Pro Division event there. This bull was a top three finisher. Foghorn, Leghorn, and the 22-year-old Ezekiel Mitchell right now just inside the top 20 could certainly use a little boost in his points. And this is a bull that J.B. Mooney had in Tulsa, and I really can't judge any bull from Tulsa just because of the dirt uh, that was there. It was so deep. These bulls struggled to get through it, and this was one of them. He didn't really have that good of a trip. He did get J.B. down, but uh, it, this bull is supposed to buck really hard. We're going to see a much different out from this bull here this evening than we did in Tulsa. I would certainly bet on that one. Only three outs we've seen of this bull so far this season. High flying Zeke into his hand. Look at this. And Colby, he might not have finished as strong as he started. They're going to review it, but Ezekiel Mitchell, there you see a little sigh of whether it's relief or frustration, but nevertheless, this is a great effort by Zeke. Well, he finished stronger than he started, and that's because this bull got him out and made him work for it. He just keeps pumping over, and you can see him loosening up with those legs, trying to get that weight to the inside. It never happens, but he refused to lose right there, and that got him the eight seconds. Give him the score. They're going to take a look back at it once again just to confirm that he was there for the eight seconds. Big high-flying couple of leaps around there. But then that bull kind of settles in, but you said it keeps bringing that power and gets Ezekiel out of position towards the end. Well, once you get behind on these bulls, they are so unforgiving. They are not going to give you uh, a split chance to correct yourself at all. And you can see right here, he's going to get it. Well, he can take a sigh of relief. He gets a score of 86 and a half, and he's standing by with Kate. Well done, Ezekiel. Describe the difficulty of that bull right out of the gate. Uh, that's when it felt great. It's just whenever after that I was expecting more and I was behind. He went to whirling it up, but uh, gritted it out and got it done, I guess. You got pretty banged up at the end of last week. And how important was it to come back and erase that? Uh, well, I really don't care about the bumps and bruises. I'm still young, so <laughs> we're just trying to get to the world finals and put some pressure on the rookie of the year race. You're doing it the right way. Well done. Thank you so much. Matt. Well, I love hearing that he has his sights set on that coveted prize because we know that so many of those past rookie of the year champions have parlayed that into world titles. Alessandra Souza went a perfect three for three last weekend, finished second. He's a board pure gangster. A bull that has bucked him off already this season. Hey everybody, Matt West here. Thanks for watching the PBR YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to catch all the top moments from the professional bull riders. While you're at it, make sure you download the Ride Pass app and catch all of the PBR action today.